On today's video, we talk about what areas in the United States need to be worried that a housing crash might be coming their way. What's going on everyone, Adam Sorcher, top real estate agent. If this is your first time to my channel, every single day I drop a video about real estate. So if you're into real estate, make sure you hit that subscribe button. On today's video, we're gonna talk about, obviously we're seeing a shift in the market and what areas in the United States need to be worried that a housing market might be coming their way. So as a real estate expert, my job is to actually know what's going on in the market. So every single day I look at articles online, what you know, what people are saying in LA Times, Wall Street Journal, things like that. I watch YouTube videos, kind of see what people are putting out there. And the big thing that people keep on talking about is that a housing market crash is coming. And I do think that there's gonna be some areas in the United States that's gonna be market by market that are gonna face a housing crisis. I just think that many, you know, places that are being overbuilt or things like that, but we need to break down what areas I think people need to be worried about and what areas that are still gonna see a healthy market. Obviously with rates jumping up as quickly as they have, we are gonna see less buyers out there because of affordability, but to say a housing market crash is coming, I just don't think that's gonna happen in every market. So let's take the Inland Empire, Southern California right here. So if you look at these areas right now, LA's inventory is 24% down from last year, Orange County is 37% and San Diego is 25%. The Inland Empire, we're starting to see just over six and a half percent of inventories ticking up. The reason why I'm not worried about the inventory in the Inland Empire is with these being so negative, sooner or later, the buyers that can't buy anything here because if inventory is so low, the demand almost stays the same, prices are gonna stay about the same. Sooner or later, a lot of these buyers are gonna slowly start moving into the Inland Empire that we've already seen over the last few years and that's why prices have skyrocketed so much. So if you're a buyer in this red area, just think about, hey, if I'm in you know, San Diego County, North San Diego County, maybe I go into Fallbrook, maybe I go into Temecula. If I'm in Orange County, maybe I'm looking at you know, the edge of Corona, things like that. Until we see these numbers still tracking up, I don't, I'm not really worried about housing in the Inland Empire, but I am worried about up in San Bernardino County. You know, up there, we saw it back in 2018. You know, I remember showing buyers up there and every house we went and looked at was a brand new single story built in the last six months on an acre lot. Well, it should be interesting to see with inventory ticking up so much in San Bernardino County, up in the high desert, are we gonna start seeing prices go down there because inventory is just gonna get too high and pricing is just gonna go down because buyers are gonna have a choice of whatever they wanna go buy. So we need to keep an eye on this market. In Southern California, I'm worried about high desert, Victorville, things like that because I think they might have overbuilt and if they've overbuilt and prices have gotten too high, buyers are just not gonna wanna go up the hill every single day to live up there. Let's take it somewhere outside of California. This is, you know, uh, Idaho. Obviously, everyone was from California was jamming up to Boise, wanting to get out of California, but now that we start seeing is, look at these all these blue numbers. Twin Falls is 120% higher than it was last year. Boise is 50%. You know, we're starting to see a lot of blue in this area. That means there's gonna be a lot of inventory on the market. And so if, if in California, if the flocking to Boise or to Idaho calms down, obviously we're starting to see because more and more houses are gonna be on the market, prices are gonna go down. So if you're in the Boise area or you've thought about buying a second home in Boise or thinking about moving to Boise, this might be the perfect time for you because we're gonna definitely see a cool down in that market and that might be the best chance for you to go grab up something nice. Let's talk about another area that a lot of people reflect to is, is Dallas, Texas. Austin's a little crazier because all the tech uh, people went there so that's still booming a little bit, but let's just take a look at Dallas. Obviously, Dallas is still down 40% from last year. Um, you know, Fresno, or uh, sorry, not Fresno, Frisco, and those areas are still super packed, but look at all these blue areas through here, all around here. So in Dallas, is still gonna be pretty crazy, but outside of Dallas, in these smaller areas, they definitely have built a lot, preparing for people to move from California there because we've seen the flex of people, and maybe that's gonna start slowing down because with pricing so high, with rates going up high, and one thing people don't talk about in uh, Texas and Dallas especially is the property taxes. So obviously those will be a lot higher. Out here in Southern California, we have 1.25 if you don't have any special assessments. So just make sure you're moving to Dallas area. You might wanna be looking outside of Dallas because Dallas prices are still gonna be high because the inventory
inventory so low. If you're looking in your market, what you should do is see how much housing is on the market because the more inventory there's gonna be, that means there's more buyers to pick from and that's where we'll start seeing housing go down or up. Right now, currently what I do every single day is I look at how many houses are on the market in Riverside. Today, there's 237. Um, last week, there was 219 on Monday. So we've seen a little bit of an upkick from then. Assume some of those houses will go into escrow this week. But definitely I've seen a jump up in about 400 homes in just Riverside County in the last week. So last week on Monday, it was like 2,600 and some change. And now we're right at around 3,000. So if we keep on seeing those numbers go up, and then we'll start seeing the prices start to flatten out because buyers are just gonna have more inventory to pick. Hopefully this video helps. Is there a housing crisis coming? Maybe in certain areas, but in the Empire in Southern California, I think we're just so below the inventory that I just don't see it happening. Obviously prices are not gonna jump up 20% like they did the last few years, and that's why rates are going up to kind of control that. But to see a massive housing crisis happen where prices drop 50%, I just don't see that thing happening unless something changes with jobs or some crazy event happens. And until that happens, we're just going to see prices start flattening out. Hopefully this video helps. If you need anything, make sure you always reach out to us. We're always here to help you. Until next time, peace.